Hi, welcome back to Sotoku Tech. I've been toying around with MQTT here uh, using the free MQTT broker, MQTTHQ. Then I was using MQTT in Home Assistant. And you see here in Home Assistant, it's actually the plugin is indeed Mosquito. So I just got this Raspberry Pi 02W and we just did a headless install of Raspberry Pi OS Lite on it. And now I want to check out this Sodalo platform. This is Mosquito 2.0 with a web-based management center and something called Stream Sheets. I don't even know what that is. It looks like the installation's remarkably simple. And so let's load this Sodello platform on our Raspberry Pi 02W. I look forward to doing silly MQTT tricks like this one here. So stay tuned to the end of the video to see how that works out. Like I said, we just did the headless install on the Raspberry Pi 02W. You'll want to check out this video for a step-by-step -step tutorial to get you up and running. Yeah, you just click on the link to the Raspberry Pi instructions. And all you got to do is run this one line of, of code here. Yeah, we're going to SSH into our Raspberry Pi 02W here. There we go. We're logged in. Now we'll just copy that line of code there. And we're going to drop it on the PowerShell here. And let it do its thing. Oh, it's installing Docker. Docker's pretty cool. Basically, it's a, instead of a virtualizing a whole computer like on a virtual machine, it's virtualizing everything that's needed to run the code without having to run an entire operating system on top of an operating system. So this is really ideal for a board like the Raspberry Pi 02W. This whole process takes about 10 minutes so we're going to be cropping out a lot. I want to show you the texture of each of the sequences here because it's kind of cool. So we got Docker installed. Now it looks like it's installing other components. Yeah, it's getting them all and then it's like you watch it and it's unzipping them all. Yeah, unpacking. There we go. <laughs> it does this cool progress indicator several times. That's neat. Oh yeah, it's downloading there. So now it's installing everything that it's downloaded. Pretty cool. No, it's still downloading stuff. <laughs> like I say, this goes on for several minutes. Here, you see the Sodalo platform is up and running. So now, we're ready to check it out. In the interim, I did power the Raspberry Pi Zero to W down and power it back up after I moved it to a more permanent location. So we're going to go SSH back into this and anytime you power cycle the Raspberry Pi 02W you'll have to manually start Sodalo. We'll show you how to do that right here. There we go. We're logged in and you just need to change directory to the Sodalo platform folder and then run sudo sh Start SH. And here we see Sodalo start up again. And there's a lot of mosquito logging here in the console. Looks like we're all set. You can see MQTT is running, the mosquito proxy, the web interface is running, and that's at um, the 8088 port. So let's go ahead and sign into that web page now. Yeah, 8088 port. So I'll type in my 192.168.1.71 8088 and go to the login page. The default passwords in the instructions. So here's the web interface for managing 
your MQTT installation, the first thing I want to do is create a couple of clients. Clients are going to publish and consume MQTT data. So I'm going to create a client named Core A because I'm going to use M5 Stack Core devices as MQTT clients. We'll give it a password and we'll give it a net text name Core A. Save. We'll go ahead and create Core B. Give it a password. and a text name Core B. Okay, so I have my two clients created here. We got to add them to client roles. There's several roles. All we need is client though. You can see the administrator has several roles. There we go. Core A has client role and whoops. Click the wrong button somehow. Core B has the client role. Okay, now that we have our client accounts configured in Mosquito, Core A and Core B, let's go to flow.m5stack.com. I upgraded my core IoT units with this M5 Go battery back. You'll want to check out that video. It's a really cool upgrade for your core IoT units gives you a C and a B port and there's two LED bars on the side of the base. So I'm just configuring Core A to connect to our MQTT server and Core B to connect to our MQTT server. And let's look at the rest of the script. When you push button C, you're going to alternate between sending a red message or a green message on the Core A topic and you're going to subscribe to the Core B topic. And if Core B topic is green, you're going to light your RGB bar color to green. Otherwise, you're going to light your RGB color to red. And the same for Core B going the other way. It's going to publish to the Core B topic, alternating between red and green when you press the C button. And it's going to monitor the Core A topic if it gets green, it's going to turn its RGB co color bar green or otherwise red. So let's fire up our two core units. And they're already connected here to Mosquito. You can see I've been playing with it already. I had to do a test. So the topics are already there. Okay, I pushed the button on one of the core units and it lit the red light on the other unit. The top line on the display is the local reading and the bottom line on the display is the remote reading. So we'll push the C button on the other one. Now both lights are red. Okay. This one told that one to be green. <laughs> now, now they're both green. And again, you can see all of this taking place live in the Sadalo platform web interface here. The topics are showing the latest payload. Red, red, green, green. There's a five second delay on some of the sketch there. That's great. So I'm really happy. This works out quite well. This Sedalo platform gives you this nice web interface, easy to use for the Mosquito MQTT broker platform there. Well, I really hope you enjoyed checking out this Sedalo platform, the Mosquito MQTT broker. And like I say, we got it running on a Raspberry Pi 02W. Make sure to check out my GitHub site. I'll have a link down below. I'll give those uh, M5 flow programs in case you have a core IoT unit. And give this video a like. Please leave a comment down below. And before you go watch more of my videos, click on subscribe. Thank you very much.